children of light. I'm going to go inside. There's no effort for me to do this. Um, I simply just intend, fall into a space with my passion, my sincerity, my humility. Most important, at least in this regard, is to make myself vulnerable, open, let go. Children will own the world. They always have. Greedy adults took it away from them, took it away from you. But the children will own the world. And in order for any of you to move into that new world, you have to step out of yourself from playing the role of an adult. But even as an adult, you're still a child of the living light. And many in the corporations or establishment have stolen that from you. It's all changing lickety split. It's coming to a grinding halt. And you may say to spirit, well, it's taking such a long time. Remember, that's just the reason. You're living in time for now. Spirit does not see your vantage point whatsoever. So from this perspective, that very innocence of childlike quality, you will begin to see time will deplete from you and things will hasten and experience much more to your liking. If you're seeing the world as fighting, you are not in your innocence yet. Einstein asked a very important question. When you look out, do you see a friendly universe or a hostile one? This could be your gauge, your barometer to ignite your light. Whether you believe this idea or not, in the future, children will actually occupy seats of power. Bet you never saw that one coming, did you? Exactly. Again, it's going to require innocent eyesight to ever take in the greater picture, which these children do. They move among a flock of what you would call normal kids, but they all are a part of the mission of light. Step back. Don't stifle the child's voice. Remember, the power of divine wisdom moves through their vocal cords as you begin to listen, not just hear, resonate your spiritual heart, your spiritual ear, your capacity to take in information the information that they are offering to you because they are in a formation of alignment naturally. And with each wave of children that come in, you will see these abilities begin to heighten. You may call them and label them certain ideas that the adults grouped them in a box, but they will knock off your socks. They're gonna get even more, as you will, strange. you do not yet understand the enigma of God. Things are not always even or odd. Sometimes they sit there in the center balance. Let the child be, let him enter the world arena. Again, we tell you the world as you know it is dying. It's on its last cosmic breath, if you will, on the exhale, in fact. Take this opportunity now. Look around, find these children. I don't mean just pick them out so you can see what one looks like. Find them, however you can, gather them, even in your heart will suffice for now. Step out of your adult self. Let your child play again. Become that child. For the children 
will knock down the walls of the collective adult ego, arrogance, greed, troublesome, vexation. They are here, if you will, on vacation from spirit. If you only had an inkling, a simple clue of how many are raising up their hands on the other side of the veil, if you will, to say, please let me go down there and play in the cosmic sandbox yet again. The population is booming, isn't it? Right? Now, as far as your borders being open, Spirit understands from your vantage point that many countries don't like it. The walls are crashing, we tell you. The adult walls of ego-minded consciousness are crumbling. We understand that there's procedure that needs to happen to create some sort of order. But don't wind that spool too tight. It is the divine's will that everyone move about the earth. Who owns what land? No one owns anything. So the crossing of borders is going to happen. Why? The children are beginning to gather. Of all races, this is a world of unity. It's just that not everyone can see it. You must begin to free it and you must begin to be it. Gather the children, listen to the fire that comes out of their heart. This is Spirit's will and asking of you, please start. Things are beginning to take off, as you call it, as you are all being called to hear the trumpeting of the angels. On all angles, your life is going to begin to move, it's going to begin to spin. These children will help you find your balance. Om Sri Sairam Guvadevadatta Janava.